Why does it kind of look like he's in a hospital bed? He's like up late in a hospital bed. Fugitive data. Kidnapping murder. Capture on Eagle Mountain about eight hours after his escape. Her very first client was a death row inmate who had recently broken out of prison. That was a whole year before me and I ever met. Six years earlier. Holy, six years ago. I'm so nervous, I feel like I'm gonna die. Whoa! Good morning, weirdo. I mean, uh, client. I didn't do nothing, I swear. I didn't kill nobody. He was sentenced to death five years ago. How was he on trial again if he was already sentenced to death? So why did you escape anyway? Uga Eek. What the hell? I didn't do that, I didn't kill nobody. I never lie, I never lie. I didn't escape from nowhere. Uh, police just recaptured you two days ago. Sorry, I told a little lie. What the heck? But anyway, I didn't do it. I never killed nobody. Sorry for asking, but you're on death row, right? I got eat. I'm really, really sorry. Whoa, what just happened? Whoa, what? That woman, she lied in her testimony. That's why I got the death penalty. I swear, I didn't kill her. I can never do that. escaped. He did meet with the victim. But I didn't kill her. She was alive when I left. She was alive, it's true. Hmm. Ha. You're not gonna figure out the truth just by staring at the guy. Where are you here? Is young Godo? Young Godo. Where's Mr. Grossberg? <laughs> that old man is probably still in bed. I bet he's clutching an empty bottle and mumbling in his sleep. Aren't I good enough? After all, it's me, Diego Armando. <laughs> I didn't say. So Diego Armando, the finest attorney at Grossberg Law Office, is here for me? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. Today, you're the finest. Okay, dude. Set. All right, slow it down, dude. I, this is a professional environment, Armando. Settle down, okay? After all, it took an amazing amount of guts to take this case. Imagine. An escaped death row convict for a first client. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> now, relax. I just heard some good news. The prosecutor for today is fresh out of his diapers as well. 
Really? However, unlike a certain somebody who I won't mention, he's earned the reputation as a genius since beginning his law career. Okay, dude. Well, it's about time to head in, kitten. Sharpen those claws of yours. It's go time. Isn't he the guy that was in the very beginning? In like one scene where he died to drinking poisoned coffee or something like that? Young Edgy. The prosecution's been ready for a while, Your Honor. We're not only ready. I don't like this judge. No, that's not young judge. That's the alternative judge, I think. Or is it young judge? I think this is alternative judge. This is alt judge. Miles Edgeworth, your honor. So you're the new prosecutor everyone's talking about, eh? Yeah, the Canadian one. Forgot he was Canadian. They say you joined the prosecutor's office at quite an early age. I guess our little kitten hasn't earned herself much of a reputation yet, huh? This guy. It's not young judge, it's alternate judge, chat. That's not young judge. There's two judges. We've seen them in, um... In the mask to mask case, when there's two cases at the same time. What is you'll know later? I'm deleting this message. I don't know what you're saying, but shut up. No spoilers. Hold on, do we need to make a message? Wait, he doesn't know? What, do I know? what don't I know? Ago, we escaped from a police wagon. Is that correct? It was from 3 2. You could see it on YouTube. On my YouTube playthrough. It's fr he's from 3 2. The second case of the third game. We're now on the fourth case. The defendant is not in trial for escaping prison. On the day that the defendant escaped, a policewoman was murdered. What happened? Did he like get poisoned from uh, whatever and go blind or something? That's why he wears a mask now. Why is he? Why is he going by a different name? I need to know. Uh, I don't like how he says kitten. I don't like that. Q 
Kidnapping, extortion, and murder. The girl he threw off the bridge was only 14 years old. Sheesh. A truly horrible crime, I remember well. There was no decisive evidence of the trial was long and protracted. Correct. But in the end, what finally decided the case was a certain witness's testimony. Yo, look at that! Look at the edgy smile, though! Look at that edge smile! Should I make that an emo right now? Sheep! Look at that smug determination. A witness's testimony. Why does that look like Mia? Who is that? Oh, is that Valerie? She arrested Mr. Falls at the scene and later testified against him. She said she witnessed Mr. Falls throw his young victim into the river. For those who are not aware, Eagle River is well known for its powerful current. Most bodies that fall in are never recovered. Most bodies that fall in. Does it happen often? She. She. That policewoman you just mentioned. That wouldn't be. Exactly. The victim. The same woman that was killed two days ago. Police Sergeant Valerie Hawthorne. I see. The man who was sentenced to death based on her testimony escaped two days ago. Only one thing on his mind. Take revenge against the woman who convicted him. Truth is becoming clear to me now. Okay. It's quite obvious that the defendant is guilty. <laughs> Objection! That ain't right. Watch yourself, Miss Faye. <laughs> Chill, Edgy. Edgeworth, please call your first witness. All right. Is it gumshoe? It is. <laughs> it's always gumshoe. All right, gumshoe, just don't lie to me, all right? Just don't lie to me. All right, gummy. Come on, just be nice to me. I don't believe anyone asked you about that. That's what I'm saying. Gumshoe, get to the point. I'm on Team Mia. What is it? You. You're really good. Okay, Gumshoe. Come on. What? Get this guy out. Why is this guy the witness? Come on. Do we don't have a better one? Oh my god, dude. Pull yourself together. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You peace. The victim was Sergeant Valerie Hawthorne, a veteran on the police force. She was stabbed in the back with a knife and died from excessive blood loss. Okay. Old Dusky. The bridge is like broken on one side of it. Wait, what's with this? What's with this map? Is this bridge not crossable? Was wearing a thick coat. 
No traces of blood. I despise conjecture. Okay, dude. That they even met there. So true! Based judge. Did meet on that day. Okay. I'm not sure I like you wagging your finger at me. That's who I were some hoser. <laughs> Proceed with your testimony. Yes, sir. Okay, now listen carefully, kitten. One little mistake and this guy will drink you from morning tea. Trust me, get ready. Is that technically workplace harassment? To be called kitten? On the day of the incident, an unknown person phoned the sergeant and asked to meet. Okay. down there kitten <laughs> i hate it I, I actually hate this guy goto was cool now i hate him is maybe it's not even the same person there's no way it's not though Got the same outfit, but with different colors. I don't even want to read his lines anymore. <laughs> dun 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 dun. I don't think it's a different times thing. That's like calling a coworker like babe. Hey babe. On the day of the incident, an unknown person okay. Hold it! You do know. The one who called Sergeant Hawthorne was the defendant, Terry Falls. What? left a note. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> why would the note be not shared before? Listen up. Yeah, why would he say an unknown person? Gumshoe, you got it! You're a piece, man! Gumshoe's a piece! Oh, uh, Edgeworth set it up. Edgeworth, Edgeworth is the piece. Important place to defend, that's why. Five years ago, the defendant kidnapped a young girl. He was chased onto a bridge, and it was there that he killed his hostage. Dusky Bridge.
man. Hold it! We even got to say, don't move. Okay, dude. Yeah, this sounds super set up. And the victim both went up there by car. I mean, how else? The defendant drove his own car? It was stolen. A young couple at a red light. I'm not sure how I feel about car thieves. Okay, dude. Photo of the trunk. Oh, jeez. judge. He's no better than the other judge. <laughs> the knife was still in her back. Says, ma'am, I didn't do it, I didn't do nothing. That's all he says. <laughs> nothing? I wouldn't say he did nothing. At the very least, we know he stole a car. True. Based judge. I told a little lie. <laughs> or something like that. Hold it! Four thirty. Thirty minutes to go from the bridge to the checkpoint. Listen up, Kay. There's a big trap waiting for you in that testimony. Walk in with Kelsey, and you'll leave more than just a flesh wound. If you want to have any chance at all, you better get some more information. If you're going to get caught in a trap, it's best to get caught early. Look for contradictions afterwards. But maybe I need to show that the the scarf is missing. It says to put a scarf. Objection. Okay, there it is. The scarf is not there. Don't 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 don't. I got something to say, buddy. Where's the white scarf? I'm not sure I like this. T 
too young to drink real coffee. Come on. That's what I said. Well, then I suggest you take another look. They did a good job making his face extra smug. He's even more smug than ever before. Holy. Young Edgeworth, full smug. Maximum capacity smug. At Dusky Bridge, I was there first and decided to conduct my own investigation. Yeah, why don't you tell him? All pieces of evidence in my personal satchel. <laughs> okay, dude. Is that isn't that like against the law, Edgeworth? Didn't you break the law? For what it was intended for? Raining on the mountain. Smug maxing. <laughs> Scarf added. Embarrassing herself? Okay, dude. You hid evidence, you piece of. He's actually a piece. Edward <laughs> is actually such a piece. I'd like to move on with it. How did you not know I was hiding evidence, dummy? Don't disrespect me like that. Okay, let's see what happened. Eyewitness who is there. This photo was accidentally taken by the witness. It shows the Vic wearing the scarf, sir. Accidentally taken? What? Someone was accidentally there? That's crazy. Well-intentioned third party. What? Is it Dahlia? It's Dahlia, isn't it? I'm very intrigued what's going to happen. Alright, let's move on. Yeah, the kitten is- the kitten comments are too much, man. It's too much! 
I haven't even done my cross-examination yet. What do you mean, hmm? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Gumshoe, help me out here, brother. Hold it! She's a college student. It is Dahlia. What is going on? Came to testify for her. What the heck? Accidentally taken. Okay. Hold it! Unusual flora. Spirits. Is it a ghost? Let's see. What's he talking about? Hold it! <laughs> Looks like a cold front just moved in. Come shoot, come on! to the point, man. There's even some fog. He slipped and fell on the bridge? Gumshoe, bro. I could have died. How do you know this? Hold it. or something? It is. <laughs> Thank you for answering my question, Mia. I guess that's how we say brutal. I guess that's how we say brutal. Brutal. God. Always to get in heat, man. Even from Mia in the past. right now. Alright, let's save it. We still didn't uh, press the last uh, thing, but oh, let's just go ahead and do it. Hold it! Contradiction.
How would it get mud on it if it fell off on the bridge and was found on the bridge? If it never left the bridge, how's it getting mud on it? Is that a reach? That might be too much of a reach though. Let's try it. Objection! It was too much of a reach. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We'll probably use that later, I guess. Shove the victim down from behind and stab her in the back. Think about this. Uh, Objection! Why is there no mud on her? Right here! Victim's coat? As far as I can see, there's nothing strange about it. It's exactly what's strange. Recall the testimony where the conditions on the bridge that day... It was drizzling and foggy. The dusky bridge was all wet. The victim really had been falling down on her stomach on top of the bridge. In front of her coat should have been covered in mud. My gorgeous playoff beard was befouled. <laughs> it's playoff beard. If anyone doesn't chat, that's a playoff beard is a thing that hockey players do. When the playoffs start, they, they grow their beard out for playoffs. And sometimes like fans also do it. They'll grow their beard out for NHL playoffs. <laughs> It's really funny. Canadian lore shared. That's true, the, the bridge may not be muddy. I, I assumed that it wasn't, that's why I read the shield of scarf. Instead of on a muddy street. Glorious hockey beard, pride of, oh, they, they described the lore here. 
Pride of the League of Legends? But not muddy. I can definitely prove that it's... Yeah. bridge and got this mud. It means that the bridge was obviously covered in mud. <laughs> Silly edgy. You thought you had the edge. What's up, rat? Objection! You don't need to object. However, Explanation. See, is the victim discovered in the trunk? The witness photo showing the defendant and the victim. Or the witness testimony that stated she saw the moment of murder. It's gotta be the... It's gotta be the testimony! And therefore, we gotta bring her in! Lock it in, baby. It's a no-brainer! Shoved the victim down from behind and stabbed her in the back. Now, is that testimony exactly what the witness claims to have seen? Yeah, that's what the witness told us. Doesn't add up, buddy. Filled with holes! It's the truth. Okay, you know. Is he just talking to talk at this point? <laughs> it's not just true. It's true. <laughs> Take another sip of your coffee, Armando. Cross-examination. Bring her in. Bring that piece in. What the heck is she up to? who saw the events that day with very own eyes. Oh, now she's a woman. Okay, now that she's on, now she's a woman. Okay, okay, I get it. She looks exactly the same. <laughs> the judge. The judge is in love, dude. <laughs> Bro, are you okay? When I look at you, how can I put it? You look as scrumptious as a double double and a dozen donut holes.
Okay, they, they did mess up the Canadian lingo though. But I can see what they might, it might have been a copyright thing. We don't, nothing is called, we don't say donut holes in Canada. They're called Timbits. We have, they're not called donut holes in Canada. Nobody says that. A double double is a coffee with two sugar, two milk, or two cream or whatever. I don't, I don't get, I don't get double doubles. A double, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a two sugar, two cream or whatever. Two cream, two sugar. I feel like I want to hurry up and hand down a verdict just to have a bite. Bro! This just needs a lunch break. Set. This is this is very sensitive and delicate. You're a true gentleman. Me, <laughs> you can learn a lot from this man. Didn't she say this the last time? Didn't she say this the last time too? What a piece. Melissa Foster. No, it isn't. That's not your name at all. talking about why are you showing that in her face like that it's just a photograph and you would be That fake smile is so villainous. I I was using my camera to take some pictures of wild flowers, then I noticed there were two people standing up on the suspension bridge. Suddenly they just started fighting. That's when I hurried and took the photo that shows the crucial moment. <laughs> and right after that I called the police. The judge is actually asking good questions. Right on the peak? On the other side. Okay, how'd you even get here? What the heck? What is this place? What a cute camera. Just like it's owner. So cringe. Don't make her cry again. I was using my camera to take some pictures of the wildfires. Hold it! The mountain is famous for its beautiful spring wildflowers. It's only February. I couldn't wait for spring to come. I know just how you feel. <laughs> That's how my name. Hold it.
I'm a bad girl, I know I am. It looked like they were having a really serious conversation up there. So I decided to watch them, like some kind of peeping Tom. Not at all! Everyone's like that! I love watching other people fight too! In fact, I, I can't get enough of it! Actually, that's why I took this job in the first place! Alright, dude. Calm down. Suddenly, they just started fighting. Hold it! I have no idea. Why do you ask that? I would never... I would never eavesdrop. <laughs> oh my god. I've got more class than that. That's right, Miss Faye. Don't drag the witness down to your level, you piece. <laughs> Hold it! Why did you take a photo? Two of them are really going at it. Ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a news reporter. I guess that part of me just kind of took over. I understand completely! Even now, I can completely abandon my boyhood dreams. I still use my grandson to test my comedy routines on. <laughs> All I could do was use my camera. So I took the photo of the crucial moment and gave it to police. Why is she calling it the crucial moment? Hold it! something really good. Alright! Say less, Armando. He's actually giving pretty good hints. He's one of the more helpful uh, assistants or whatever. Like, throughout the whole series so far. His, his hints are really good so far. But we'll see if it actually does help me here. Looks like they're just standing still. Like they're just standing still in the photo. Oh, nerdy. Witness. Is this what you meant? I can see in this photo are two people facing each other. Testifies that you saw the two of them starting to fight. Normally, that's the kind of thing we would refer to as a crucial moment. Why haven't you presented a photo like that? Well, you see, the photo was pre we presented was the only one there was. But if you really wanted to capture the crucial moment, then what happened next? You must have taken a photo of it. Did you say dough? What is it, Homer Simpson? Um, I'm sorry. I'm a very bad girl. I, um, I used it all up. Film, I mean. We out of film? Or this photo was the last one. All the other photos are of the witness herself. 
playing among the wildflowers. The camera has a timer feature built into it. <laughs> me too! I took- Me- I took picture of myself too! Me too! We have so much in common. I need to turn my light up so I don't have red eyes. There we go. I still- I don't know why the, when sunlight comes in it makes my eyes look red. I don't know why. Wait just a minute, you piece. With your very own eyes. You're quite the poet. <laughs> Let's get back to the cross examination. camera to take pictures of the wildlife flowers. Oh. Turned around and tried to run away. Hold it. If it had been a quaggy woman like you, I'm sure she would have acted differently. Wow. <laughs> the quaggating is happening in Ace Attorney, dude. I didn't even know quaggy was a word. I'm gonna use it forever now? Why, you? I wanna jump to the roof. Hold it! Save. We didn't save in a while. Let's drop a save pack. Show where they are on the bridge, though. But weren't they like deep on? Testimony is a joke. <laughs> mm. 
One short testimony and two bad contradictions. There's no possible excuse. Simple. Just take a look at the diagram of the area. According to her testimony, the two of them were in the middle of the bridge. If they were... and the victim had turned around and tried to run, well then... she would have hit a dead end. Also, it doesn't make sense that there's just a bridge that doesn't work that's not, like, closed off. <laughs> Maybe it is closed off, though, I don't know. And they just, like, hopped over the, the fence or whatever. She can run even five! This charming little witness told a charming little lie. That's all there is to it. Has been lying to the court? What are you gonna say, Miles? It's a confusion, okay. It was not at the time. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense, Miles. But also, 10 yards means she still was on the muddy bridge. It wasn't your fault at all. <laughs> Unreal. It's so hard to go on. We're all on your side, Miss Foster. <laughs> Just tell us what you saw. Yes, sir. After he stabbed her in the back, he quickly picked her up in his arms. Then he carried her over to the car. I suppose that was the only way he could make sure the body stayed hidden. He couldn't just leave the body on top of the bridge. I'm only supposed to talk about what I saw. Finished. It's not over yet. All right, let's go. Quickly picked her up in his arms. Hold it! Addiction. If you don't mind, I was asking the witness. No need to be so rude. You're the one who's being rude, Edgy. She didn't fall down. The man in the prison uniform grabbed her before she could. Or one step too slow. Miles! What a piece. Hold it!
problem. Hold it! You mean the defendant carried the body all by himself? Get so mad. Please share it with the rest of us. Oh, there's another possibility. Hold it. I mean, he's so it's so obvious that he could just dump the body in the river. In Wayne Mountains, doing anything more to hide the corpse would be going overboard, wouldn't it? February. A small temple on a channel in Gojo there. They just love cold, isolated places. Hold it! Remarkably honest young woman. Hmm. You may actually go better with coffee than sugar, right? Listen. If you're unsure, add salt. Bring out the rust. It's all the same, it's all the same. I'm gonna go for the dump in the river angle here. Objection. Let's go. I can understand that. However, the idea of moving the body for that purpose is clearly odd. There was a much easier way to make sure the body wasn't found. Take another look. There's a river right there. If 10 murders were to occur at the same spot above the Eagle River, you can bet your boots that every other killer would have tossed the body in the water. True story. Not only is it true, it's very true. <laughs>
The mean lady might yell at you again. <laughs> All right, I'll do my best. After he stabbed her in the back, he quickly picked her up in his arms. He carried over the car. The killer broke into the trunk of the stolen car and hid the body in there. You, you're lying. How are you able to see this? You're on the other side of a cliff. Hold it! You're done for. not in your line of sight kitten made a crucial mistake <laughs> look how look how devious mia looks right now some might say a big mistake Take a look at this diagram. The place you claim to have taken the photo from day is here. Even if you tried to see the car. Dun, 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 dun. It isn't so tall that it would stop her from seeing the car. It's not high at all. I was able to see his car just fine. I'm so sorry, but that just doesn't wash. I believe it was the witness who presented this as evidence to the court, yes? This is the location that the photo was taken from. Your own photo tells the whole story. You can clearly see the left side of the bridge. should have been completely cut off by this cliff. But you still claim to have seen the killer's car. It's a different judge. What did he say? I missed what he said. Belly oop? What the heck did he just say? He said belly oop? She must have heard about the stolen car and convinced herself that she saw it. Okay, dude. Addiction. How are you gonna say something so dumb and still have a smug face, Miles? Come on. I just needed the music to hit first. I think I think I must have remembered things wrong. Wait a minute, you can't just say that. Objection. Stay, no one on the face of the planet is perfect. Yes, indeed, quite true. You know what they say. To err is human, to forgive divine. <laughs> Save the tears for later. Don't look back until the trial's over. Now is the time to go forward.
How does she know that he broke into the truck? Contradiction there somewhere. I mean, when did she see the car? Just from the evidence? It doesn't work. But even so, you knew about the scratches. The question is when? When did you get a chance to see these scratches? If you draw... When, when did you see him? What? The reason the witness has seen the scratches was... She happened to be passing by! <laughs> Timer function. She's dressed up as the victim. She's wearing a costume. Thank <laughs> you. 
small but necessary spoiler, the Leafs are gonna choke in May. <laughs> Very true. It's the only explanation. What's up, sir? Are you? That's already been proven by the note the victim left. In other words, as long as you were wearing a scarf like he asked, anyone could pretend to be Valerie right there. Gotta say for yourself. She's dead. We killed her. Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. She's dead in the lobby. <laughs> Why did she do it? Recess to be continued. All right. Are these supposed to be scars or tattoos? You're real good. You're real. You really hooked me up. We're almost there. Once I prove that she committed the crime. Yeah, but there's one more big obstacle we've got to get past. Motive. Why would Foster kill that policewoman anyway? Yeah. Quiet. One more thing. The incident that happened five years ago, of course. The kidnapping murder case that Zebra Boy is on death row for. I didn't do none, I didn't kill nobody, I never lie. In that case, tell us more about it. About what happened five years ago. Okay, I trust you. Oh, okay. That day, five years ago. I dream of it every day. This picture, it reminds me of everything. Bridge looks same, just like then, five years ago. Like it could fall apart, fall apart any minute. Sorry buddy, but you sound like that, the one that could fall apart at any minute. <laughs> it's true, I did. I did kidnap her. Five years ago, I kidnapped. My girlfriend, Dahlia Hawthorne.
she was, how old was she when she was dating him? What the hell? Shut up, come closer. I right, kill her. I knew this was Dahlia the whole time, but the dating part is real weird. I thought shooting someone for a kidnapping was crossing the line, but it was to protect her little sister. I can understand why she did it. Wrong. No protect sister. Valerie, Valerie betray me, betray us. What do you mean she betrayed you? Everything, all lies, all make believe, kidnapping too. My teen angel? Jewel, that's what we thought. Ask for two million dollar diamond. Tell him make exchange on Dusky Bridge. And tell him Valerie make transfer because she knew detective. Having a police detective in your pocket is a useful thing, all right. In the end, you were planning on splitting the two million three ways, huh? Yeah, but that woman. Do it for real. She shoot at me for real. He got shot in the arm and then she jumped. They both faking their own death? Everyone betray me. <laughs> he escaped just to get the truth. I'm crazy. Where is it? The two million dollar diamond. Did the police take it? I don't know. Uh, you don't know? No, really, I don't know. It's gone with Dahlia. With Dahlia. She jumped with the diamond.
How does he not recognize her? Did he not see her in the court? Stop saying Teen Angel, bro. Armando's asking the real questions. Damn it! He even used the word just? Uh, uh. Angels these days. Come off. Alright. The iron's hot. Here we go. up with this world <laughs> God witness I'll try my best <laughs> you're a brave long young lady <laughs> Witnessed a violent crime, that's all. Dun, dun. gets smiling on the outside while your guts are twisted in knots is the mark of a pro if so but I wish you would quit grinning at me like that excuse me may I speak mr. judge of course mr. judge is ready anytime you like I'd like I'd like to say something some people here are suspicious of me right that that's why I at least wanted you mr. judge to know that it's not true <laughs> I see, you're such an honest and upstanding young lady. Looks like this witness is a real professional. What do you mean? Look at that 100 watt smile. It's <laughs> when things are darkest for her click, she lights right up. Mm. It's, a good, uh, it's a good reference. It's a good reference. I was out of the country until the year before last. Until I entered college, I had never been to Eagle Mountain before. And I certainly don't have any reason for wanting to hurt a police officer. Holding a grudge and killing the officer who testified against you five years ago? Or kidnapping a poor girl? I just think the defendant is a terrible, horrible monster. Wow. Out of the country, eh? Precise. Furthermore, she has no possible motive for committing murder. Indeed. You bet. All right, let's go. Armando's actually like such a good like assistant. They should have him in the tutorial, dude. <laughs> I was out of the country till the year for last. Hold it! Abroad.
Press harder. Answer my question. Witness. What country were you in? Objection! This line of questioning is childish. What a piece. Save it. Hold it. I'm rather shy around people. That can't be helped. Like a digger of sorts. <laughs> Mia. Sheesh. Damn. Wait, hold on. Now she's saying she's been there? Is that she is a material witness to a crime. Edward, just shut up. Shut up, Edward. You're treading on thin ice here. Scratches on the truck of the car. Well, that's... And why is that, Edgy? bad for her that he didn't forget about her testimony as well. <laughs> you said he forgot what the detective looked like. What do you mean by that? Couldn't tell who she was without some kind of identification, right? Said he probably would have tried to kill me. He's clearly a bitter man. What should I do with the last statement? Sometimes it's best not to poke too deep. Add it to the testimony. Wait, 
Wait, that was a bad idea, I think. I think we made a mistake. There's multiple things. Let me let me go through what's going on through my head right now. So these two are this is Dahlia, obviously. But, and for some reason, they it seems like they plotted together to fake her death for some reason. And then he broke out. Probably not part of their plans probably not part of their plans Talk to Dahlia, tell her this time the whole truth must come out. This time. So last time. Why would the truth have to come out this time? And is she really dead? Maybe she's, it's a, f well the body was found though. In the case of her, the body was not found. So is she actually dead? And did she use it, use this scenario as a way to kill her own sister? That's unhinged, man. How come he hasn't recognized her? Is he just not in the courtroom or something? It's not even a white scarf. Definitely a stretch from Mia, because the note says white also, so they could just say that the note said white scarf. Because she wrote the note. Mystery caller. She was the mystery caller, that's why.
Oh, did she not see the note when we talked about it? Whoa, it feels like I only just summoned yesterday. I did. What was lighter? Lovely yesterday. <laughs> Val, thank you for the two months. Appreciate it. Brain needs stimulation. What? Alright, I got a Pedalia then. I've never heard that name before. Dolly Hawthorne was the victim's deceased younger sister. But was she really? Her corpse was never found. Melissa Foster. I believe that's the same age you are. Objection. Even you couldn't. Miss Faye, you're not saying. <laughs> Let's go, but I am. This girl is, in fact, Dahlia Hawthorne. Tie it together. We got it. I didn't think it'd come to this. That's enough. You don't have to say any more witness. Yes, I understand. Your Honor, I have an admission to make. I honestly never thought the defense would pursue this matter this far. The prosecutor's office isn't filled with fools, you know. Okay, it's all in the open now. Here we go. You can't just call her an accidental witness. That's so stupid. <laughs> nice try, Edgy. It was merely a coincidence. Do 
you think she wanted to... She was worried he would be innocent because she didn't actually die. So wanted to frame him for killing someone else. Holy. That's kind of crazy though. Just say I'm insane, edgy? Come on. I'm saving it. Save it? Protégé looks like she's sweating bullets. I think you're in a tough spot, huh? Of course, aren't I? No. You just arrived at the moment of truth, that's all. Whether you win or lose, that's up to you. The raptus of youth, how charming. <laughs> Now then, let's not waste any more time, Sve. Sloth, we're in, we're back in time. We're in the past. To hide the truth, whatever the truth is, she wants to hide it. She wants she wants to hide the truth. This is on the note she left. It says, talk to Dolly, tell her this time the whole truth must come out. She was going to reveal the whole world, the whole truth. There was a dangerously important secret between Valerie and Dolly. That's the reason Dolly felt she had to kill Valerie. Keep her mouth shut permanently. 24 hours. Enlighten the court, Miss Faye. What was the secret that was so important? Very well. I'll try, Mr. Judge. Here we go. Five years ago. How did she forget? Come on, Mia. <laughs> it's 
on the tail. Okay, we gotta expose it. Hold it! Bloodthirsty grin. to remember that the river is 18 feet deep and incredibly swift. I was a strong swimmer, but I was knocked out. Carried away by the river to a strange place. I'll never forget that day. Crumbling bridge, nowhere to run. Five years. I didn't ever want something like that to happen to me again. So I decided to change my identity and start a new life. Hold it! And that new identity was Melissa Foster, right? Yes, my sister helped me get the official paperwork taken care of. That makes sense. Without an insider's help, doing all the paperwork would have been impossible. She was the only person left in the world I could count on. And you, you think I could could killed her? There's no way I could. It's the moment of truth for this witness too. Once the truth about this staged kidnapping comes out, everyone in the court will know how much of Jezebel she really is. <laughs> What's Jezebel? Is that like Karen, but from the 90s? Okay. 
Why would he try to kill her after getting the diamond? Uh, uh so many questions, but I gotta I gotta pick the right thing. Tried to kill me by shoving off. Four more minutes for the Gamba. Oh, it's, uh, it's so hard. Come on, you can do this. Let me sip up. Hold on, I need to take a bite. A little protein bar bite. I have three minutes. Some more calories to the brain. Some calories to the brain. I mean, this is a clear, blatant lie. This is a lie right here. I thought I already did that. I thought I already did it. <laughs> Sheesh. How is it a blatant lie? Because the guy said that she jumped off. Not in the court of law, but on the side he told us. The true story. An ad break just started though. We're gonna wait for the ad break to finish. Holy. I don't know, we'll keep going. That's hard to believe. I felt a push on my back. <laughs> but it's true, I felt the push. <laughs> She's such a piece, man. I felt it. That's impossible. <laughs> That's true. I didn't actually look at it from this angle. <laughs> the behind angle. I thought they were in the picture, they were beside each other though. 
Like, aren't they bes beside each other in the picture it shows? five years ago. For all we know, the water level in the river may have been higher back then. A small change in the water level wouldn't have made a difference. If the events occurred just as the witness has testified, and the defendant couldn't have pushed the witness into the river. Oh my, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> it's kind of silly. She, like, did it really. <laughs> she could just say she was pushed from behind off to the side. I don't know. <laughs> She never stated that she fell from the back end of the bridge. Yeah. It's plausible that Mr. Love panicked. Therefore, he could have unwittingly pushed her off the side of the bridge. Yeah. She would have fallen into the river. Now that you mention it... <laughs> I do remember now. On the on one of the bridge's side wires. What? My assault. He's trying to say off to the side, right? Is that what I'm trying to say? Why it's impossible she was pushed from the side?
Oh, uh, because there's no space. It's all barred up. I never actually noticed. It's gotta be it. It's gotta be it. It's impossible! I picked the wrong time to eat food. Order, order. What is the meaning of this? Dahlia Hawthorne? You jumped into the Eagle River intentionally! What is this? Indeed, what do you mean by such a ridiculous remark? Yes, it's ridiculous. My sister was there to help me. She had her gun in handcuffs. She could have saved me. Jumping into a raging river like that? That would have been suicide. Perhaps. But still, that's exactly what you did. You were probably confident that you could handle the swift current. But even more so. The witness had much more compelling reason for jumping into the river. Oh, then what was it? What was so important that she'd want to jump into the river? The witness is still alive. This fact alone explains everything. This is why she risked her life by jumping into the rapids of, Eagle, of the Eagle River. The diamond in the rough. Five years ago. Something else disappeared along with Dolly that day. The item that Valerie brought up to the mountain with her, the two million dollar diamond. No, it can't be. Yes, Dolly had it all planned from the beginning. The two million dollars. She was gonna keep it all for herself. She forced Mr. Falls to help her fake the kidnapping. At the last minute, she betrayed him and threw herself into the river. With the ransom tucked away safely in her backpack. Why, that's... That's simply ridiculous. Order, order. The witness was only 14 years old. Do you really think a 14 year old is capable of such a demonic plan? This woman is a demon. <laughs> and there was one more person who helped make a demon out of her. Her sister, Valerie Hawthorne. You mean the victim was involved in the kidnapping plot as well? But she was a detective then. You're saying she participated in her sister's kidnapping? Precisely. I'm sure that it's weighed heavily on her conscience for the past five years. This is the sole reason behind the victim's murder. What do you mean by that? On the day of the murder, after receiving the phone call from Mr. Falls, Valerie called her sister Dahlia, and then she told her what she was planning to do. Planning to do? She was going to tell the whole truth as she wrote it in her note. That is what sealed Valerie Hawthorne's fate. That is when you hatched your demonic plan to kill two birds with one stone. A plan that would ensure neither of you accompl accomplices to the kidnapping would talk. And that is why you killed your sister, Valerie Hawthorne. Hee <laughs> hee. Who's that laughing at a sound like this? Oh, there she is. Forgive me. It's just hilarious. Is that you? You amuse me, woman. Miss Mia Fey. You can certainly weave an exciting tale, naturally. You have the evidence to back it up, don't you? Evidence that I planned the kidnapping, of course. 
at a 14. I plotted it with my with Mr. Falls and my sister. Mia, you showed your cards too early. And one more thing. One more thing. What happened to the two million dollar diamond? You can't provide evidence to at least show that. Well, Miss Faye. I don't know. What a joke. You, Miss Faye. Are you stupid or something? Wow. What the hell? Without evidence, the trial is over? Who decided that? Okay! Come on now. Haven't you figured out that you can make your own rules? For example, even if there's no evidence, there's still testimony. <laughs> On the day in question, Dolly Hoffa murdered her sister, Valerie Hoffa. She hid her body in the trunk of Mr. Fall's stolen car and then went to meet with her. Disguised as her sister, Valerie Hawthorne. That's what you think, right? Yes, that's right. In that case, there's only one answer, right? There is only one person left who could testify about Valerie Hawthorne's murder. Since there's no proof, there's one thing left to do. Bring him in! Bring in Terry! Scary Terry! Wishes to call a new witness! There's only one person that could shed any further light on the situation. Only one person that knows what Dolly's role in the kidnapping was. Only one person that could say whether the person in the photo is Valerie Hawthorne, or whether it was in fact her younger sister Dahlia, disguised as her. There's only one person who could solve this riddle of- And that person is... Terry Falls. Yeah, Investigations Collection will be next. Prosecution has no objection. Edgeworth needs to know now. <laughs> he needs to know. Heard everything that's been set up to this point, yes? Um, I don't believe it, no way. <laughs> Dahlia died five years ago. Valerie betrayed me. Mr. False. I don't know what she said to you five years ago, but one thing is clear. Dahlia is very much alive, and you were used for two million dollars. That's not true. Mr. Falls, there's only one question I want the answer to. Two days ago on Dusky Bridge, who did you meet? Was it Valerie or was it Dahlia? Dahlia, Dahlia, did you betray me? she promised. She promised to never, ever betray each other. Terry. Dahlia! It's true. It's true. You are alive. You don't trust me anymore? That makes me sad. Tell the truth. The real truth. I believe in you. I shouldn't need to say it. You should already know. But... There is one thing that I will say. My life is in your hands right now, Terry. Dolly. I will allow Mr. Falls to testify once and only once. Well, then, Mr. Falls, yours will be the final testimony in this trial. Witness. All right, bro. Water, please, water. Hmm? Can't talk, need water. At least it'll match the way he's probably feeling right now. 
darker and bitter than hell itself. That day, 4 p.m., I stopped the car. I was in front of the bridge. She wasn't there, so I waited on bridge. I watched my car from bridge. I never put no body in that car. Finally, one woman came. She stood in front of me. We talked, then she left. That was, that was Valerie. Not my Dahlia. Come on, bro. Mr. Falls, you're covering for her. Well then, Miss Faye, please proceed with your cross-examination. There's only one person who could stop it, you. I think. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. That day, 4 p.m., I stopped the car. I was in front of Bridge. Hold it! According to the note, the meeting was supposed to take place at 4.30. You certainly arrived early, didn't you? It was raining. I already already dark, too. You waited on the bridge for 30 minutes? Mr. False? Eagle Mountain, that spot. Strong, strong memories. Hmm. It's hiding something. Alright, we gotta save it. Let's just press everything first. She wasn't there, so I waited on bridge. Hold it! Hold it! You were quite early, so you waited on the bridge, correct? Yeah, I like waiting. I'm used to it. I'm sure he is. Zebra Boy waited five years to ask a sequel question. To find out why a woman betrayed him. To him, 30 minutes must have been like a blink of the eye. I washed my car from bridge. I never put no body in that car. Hold it! You were watching the car. That bridge, other side is broken. Nobody could come from there. So I was watching car. What else were you expecting to do? A, a contradiction? I wonder what's on the other side of the broken bridge anyway. No one lives there. There's a small shrine up on the mountain, but that's it. Anyway, nobody came. No car, nothing. Finally, one woman came. She stood in front of me. Hold it! Mr. Falls, think carefully now. Are you certain that it was Valerie Hawthorne? Uh... I never lie. It's the truth. It was Valerie. I remembered her face. Wait a minute. If you had remembered her face, then why did you make her wear a scarf as identification? Uh... Sorry. I told a little lie. <laughs> but the woman I met... She was different from woman standing here now. She was different. It was Valerie. We talked, then she left. Hold it! What did you talk to her about anyway? Valerie told the truth about the kidnapping five years ago. She said someone needed to take the blame for it. That was all I could think to do. He said that. That's why she lied. Got me the death penalty. And were you satisfied with that answer, witness? Dahlia died. It was my fault. But I don't really remember. Maybe I did. Maybe I did push her in. Don't matter no more. Either way, my Dahlia, my sweet teen angel. Dead. Uh. After Valerie talked to me on bridge, nothing left to live for. That was, that was Valerie, not my Dahlia. Hold it! How can you be so sure? It was raining at the time and sunset that day was 5 o'clock. It would have already been pretty dark on that mountain at 4.30. Please, Mr. Falls, this is your last chance. You've already taken the fall once for, of something you didn't do. That woman. It wasn't Dahlia. Stop right there. What more needs to be said?
I know it's obvious, but he's clearly lying. He's been cursed by Dahlia Hawk. He probably got to his grave still believing in her. Mr. Phelps. Oh, Salt Harlan, one second, one second. <laughs> I will, I will. <laughs> if you can show he's lying, the poor guy will still be cursed. You'll still have to point out the contradiction anyway. That's the curse of being a defense lawyer, I guess. That day, 4 p.m., I stopped the car in front of Bridge. All right, we got now. We got to find the contradiction. He said, he said a lot. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. He he said a lot. What do we have? Nothing new. Died between four and five, and he was there already at four. from his car and never did he watch her put the body in the car did he watch her do it one woman came Tough, actually, let's sit, let's try to dial in here. Let's try to dial in. All right, it's not gonna be any of that. I need to start pressing again. present anything to make him talk though. Let's 
try this. Alright. Did not work. on the other side it looks like she was there first I'm sure that you're lying you got it edgy you want to know who arrived at the bridge first let's look at this photo it's perfectly clear the person that came first will be the one at the end of the bridge, right? But that's the victim at the end of the bridge. Precisely my point. In other words, Mr. Falls, you must have arrived at the bridge after she did. <laughs> Please don't get so worked up. We just want the truth. I got there around 4 o'clock. It's true. I, I had somewhere to go, a special place. Did you go to the special place before you went to the bridge? Yeah, it's an old temple about 50 minutes from the bridge. Five years ago, me and Dahlia, we promised each other. We swore we wouldn't betray each other. She brought a memento to represent our love. A memento? Five years ago, I hid it under the base of tree there. It's the same thing, dude. She's memento teching again. It's quite charming, but it looks empty. Your Honor, you heard what my client said. He arrived at the scene at four o'clock, but he then left his car unattended and walked away. He was gone for approximately 30 minutes. With that much time, Dolly Hawthorne could have easily hidden the body in the trunk of his car. Oh. Mr. Falls? That's enough. Please. Witness? I promised her five years ago. If it ever happens, that we can't trust each other no more, then we're supposed to drink bottle. Just a little more. I was gonna prove your innocence. No, don't want that. Don't trust self. Maybe kill again. Kill sweet Dahlia again. Mr. Falls! Mr. Armando, thanks for the coffee. What? So my first trial ended, suddenly and tragically. 
It ended with no winners, only losers. I ended up with a wound that cut so deep into my soul, I thought it'd never heal. I'm sure it was the same for the young prosecutor as well. But one person, the true criminal, Dahlia. She left the courtroom with a secret smile on her demonically sweet face. Unforgivable. That witch. Mr. Armando? We were so close to the truth, it was right there in front of us. You were just a little too soft, kid. It's my fault? It's not my fault that Mr. Falls killed himself? Don't cry, kid. Gonna make my coffee all salty. I knew it. I knew I wasn't cut out for this. Mia. Don't you get it? You can't cry yet. Oh shit. The only time a lawyer can cry is when it's all over. No matter how tough the case, no matter how bitter the memories, they always fade over time. Then you file them away and eventually forget them. One year later, in this very same courthouse, myself got wrapped up in that case. Oh, Ace was actually, or Phoenix was actually dating her. That's crazy. Only after that did Dahlia Hawthorne get put on trial of war crimes. The verdict that was ultimately handed down to her was guilty, of course. Naturally, when the verdict was read, she had a perfect angelic smile on her face. It was finally all over. At least, that's what I thought at the time. Fortunately, I couldn't have been more wrong. Five years, but now something has happened that's made me remember all this. Sheesh. Wow.